you will have two different pieces of paper, one large piece and one half piece. Start by writing your name on both pieces. Don't forget to add your class. We are going to start with our larger piece of paper first. Flip it over so your name is on the back. Our tiger's head needs to be pretty large, taking up the top half of our paper, and then we're going to leave a little bit of space at the bottom for um, his shoulders. Start by creating a slightly curved line for the top of the nose, and then add two little rounded angles as you come down, around, and back up for your tiger's nose. You can choose to have the angles a little curved or more angular, it's up to you. Then make a C shape on one side for part of our tiger's cheeks, and then make a C shape on the other side. Next, we're going to make the tiger's head. Start about halfway up one of the cheeks, make a big rainbow line that goes up, around, and back down. Make it as big as you can. The sides of my rainbow line went all the way out to the edges of my paper. I did leave some room at the top for ears. Next, draw two diagonal lines going up towards the forehead. This will create the bridge of our tiger's nose. Then we're going to do two circles for eyes. You can decide how you would like your pupils to face. You could have them facing inwards for a silly tiger. You could have them going in different directions if you want, maybe one up, one down. You could have them looking over to the side, straight forward, up. You can pick. So we did two circles and then our pupils. Next, we're going to add triangles for ears. I wanted to curve mine a little bit. If you want to make them straight, you can. Just go up and then back down and then create another smaller triangle on the inside for the inside of your tiger's ear. We're going to do the exact same thing over on the other side. One big triangle and then a smaller one. Okay, next we're going to make a little chin for our tiger, so you can make a little smile line between your cheeks. And then we're going to make our tiger's body. Draw two lines just from the head right down to the bottom of your paper. However much space you have, that's the space you'll use for your tiger. Go ahead and take it all the way off the edge of the paper. Okay. We're going to draw some lines for whiskers. So give your tiger three whiskers on each cheek. And then we can't have a tiger without some stripes. For the stripes, we're just going to draw really kind of long, skinny triangles. I did three on each side of his face and then three on the top, but you can decide how many triangle uh, stripes you'd like to add. Go ahead and decorate your tiger. And then we're going to add a few stripes down on the body as well. I did two on each side. These ones are a little bit bigger. Okay, when that's done, we're gonna scoot that over to the side. I'll leave it on the screen so you can still get caught up. And we're going to bring in our half sheet of paper and this is what we're going to use to make our tail. So for the tail, we're gonna draw a long wavy line. Now remember, we are going to cut this out. So don't do any super tiny zigzaggy curves. Mine is a really nice gentle curve, kind of like a snake. Then we're going to bring the top around, kind of like a C shape a little bit. 
and then I'm going to connect that back down to the bottom and I'm going to follow that first line that I drew. I'm mirroring those lines. I'm trying to leave it about the same space all the way down the tail. Okay, we're gonna add a line at the end because we're going to color the end of our tiger's tail in black. And then we can add some triangles for the stripes, just like we did with the body. Okay, next we're going to be using our oil pastel. We've used these before. Remember, it's like a really waxy crayon. When you trace, don't forget, the oil pastel will get onto your fingers and it could create fingerprints on your picture. So you want to do your best not to touch the black line with your hand that's holding down the paper. Okay, we're going to go through and we're going to trace over all of our pencil lines and then we'll color a few of the spots in. After we get everything traced, we're going to color in the inside of the ears, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, our tiger stripes, and don't forget to trace your whiskers. When your tiger's done, bring over the tail and do the same thing. Trace all of your pencil lines, color in the end of the tail black, and then you can also color in those stripes. 